Welcome to Verizon Studios. This is my Sterling Ray 34 bass. This is the CA edition. It's basically a Music Man Stingray, but made in Indonesia. I think these cost about 1100 quid. Picked this up used for about 650, which I think is a really good price. Absolutely love this thing. The difference between the normal Sterling Ray 34 and the CA edition. I went for the CA one because it has the two band EQ, which, uh, I, the forums say is the better EQ, although forums just talk a load of bollocks if I'm being honest. But my friend Steve has a, a US Music Man with the two band EQ and it just sounds amazing. So we'll do a shootout between those at some point. But I wanted the two band EQ because I wanted a bass that sounded as good as his that's of the Music Man style. Because I already have a, a P bass style bass, my Aria. Uh, and I wanted one with a humbucker in basically and active. So I've got a passive P bass or PJ Precision and Jazz, and I've got a Music Man, so that covers all bases. It does have a slab body, this one, so there's no carve here and no gut cut. The only other difference is I think this has a thinner neck, and I really like it. This neck feels fantastic. Sound-wise, I'm just running it straight into the desk, DI'd. Um, I've got the volume on full. I've got the treble rolled off a little bit and the bass on full, just because I think you really get a nice growl out of it. Little side note, this bit between the two pickup um, screws to rest your thumb. That's really comfy. Absolutely love this bass. I've had quite a few basses over the years and modified the hell out of my Aria. So I've had active pickups in that and gone through pretty much every style of pickup and gone back to stock. So I've got a PJ. I played American Precision. It didn't feel as nice as my Aria. Uh, it sounded about the same. This one, this feels really nice. This. I mean, it just feels absolutely wonderful to play. Even though the neck's quite glossy, it, it's not sticky at all. There's a tiny bit of flaming up this end as well, which looks quite cool. Kind of wish the whole neck was flamed, but you know, whatever. These are not a cheap bass guitar though. 1100 quid for one that's made in Indonesia. Normally you'd expect to pay like half that for a high-end instrument, but maybe because it, the electronics are, are fancy. I believe these come with the same uh, hardware and electronics as the American ones comment if I'm wrong but it does have sterling stamped on some of the bits um, I will compare it to my mates US stingray and we'll see how that sounds although his is about 20 years old so things may have been made differently between now and then but this is really nice it's a nice sparkly silver color completely irrelevant because I don't know if you can still get this color but this one's a few years old I just, it sounds wonderful. Let's have some tones. Sound wise, this is with everything on full. I'm going to roll the treble halfway. Travel all the way off. Whack the treble all the way up. This is with bass halfway. And bass all the way off. Bass and treble all the way off. So I think it sounds best. There's, these aren't notched, these knobs. Uh, I believe some of the models have a notch in like the center, so it's indented or something like that. I like it with basically everything on full with the treble rolled back a little bit, and that's when it really sort of gives that Music Man growl. Yeah, 
Uh, it's just a really well made instrument. I'm going to be keeping this one. It just, it feels really nice. The neck feels fantastic. It looks great. I kind of wish it wasn't silver. I would never have sort of gone to the shop and bought a silver one, but I kind of like sparkly guitars, so this is quite cool. I would like it a deep blue. I was going to respray it, but the blue paint I bought was a different colour. Video on that to what I expected. Um, machine heads feel absolutely great. There, there's not a single problem with it. There's no, no finish imperfections. It just sounds, it's exactly what you'd expect. It's like a proper pro instrument. I don't know, if anyone has a difference between this and a full fat one, apart from the price being double, let me know because I just, two and a bit grand for a bass guitar, that's a lot of money. That's proper Gibson Les Paul standard territory and they've got a carved top, glued in neck and all that sort of fancy stuff, binding. Music Man basses don't come with any of that, they're just, a slab, bolt on. I know they use six screws instead of four. Screws cost, what? Well, I mean, even if they're a quid each, that's an expensive screw. I just can't see, I mean, even at 1100 quid, I think that's pricey, but used for 650, it does sound amazing. One more thing, this jack socket on the front, I prefer if it was there, because whenever I go to put it in the stand, I almost smash the lead out of it. So just gotta be careful putting it in the stand. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, tell everyone about the channel. Tell them to tell everyone, share this video everywhere. <laughs> you know, all the rest of it. Thanks for watching.